Well, I started out this morning working on this, uh, the opening to the uh, bag, and it cinched around the neck of it and tied on to the uh, uh, pipe where you can't see it's being tied onto. So it's uh, all bunched up there. I got a, a row of beads right at the top edge. And uh, it turned out pretty good. Now I'm going to just uh, hit it with a little paint. Time to play with some clay. All right, I came down last night, and uh, I wanted to get this done, this uh, flap for the top of the uh, pipe pouch, and uh, I did that last night, but I didn't have my cameras with me, but I did have to paint it. Because I made it again out of uh, monster clay. I put a, a row of beads right at the top edge of the uh, the opening. That's typical. And uh, they would have cinched the uh, pipe bag closed with uh, a uh, leather thong. And that leather thong is tied onto the uh, pipe so that it actually hangs off the pipe. I'm happy the way everything's turning out. Okay, today I'm going to work on his feathers. And let's get that started. All right, I got the armature in. Now it's just a matter of getting texture.
All right, I'm going to continue on with the other feather, and I'll be right back. Okay, I got the feathers done. Now it's just a matter of uh, painting them to look like the clay. Okay. I'm just taking this really soft latex tool, this makeup tool, to take out some of the scratches of the face. Take my tougher tool because there's an indention there that shouldn't be there. There we go. I'm going to put the feathers in now. Okay, that works pretty good. I'm just gonna put a brass disc on there to uh, lock in those feathers and I think that looks good now I that's just as far as I'm going to go with him on this uh, clay 
for now because I haven't sold any and I just need to get it to a point where I can take photographs of a nearly finished clay to uh, maybe get some sales from it. But I'm going to take him and put him on to the uh, base of the uh, other guy that goes with him and uh, see how it looks. All right, that's going to be uh, it for today. I just wanted to show you how these two look together. I think, uh, boy, that really sets out that uh, pipe bag nicely. And the feathers look amazing now. And they look great from this side. It, it just complements the, the total design of this piece. You want the design of a sculpture to work in a circle. In other words, you don't want to have something that's going to take your vision off the piece. And this, those feathers brings your vision down and around, and then that arm and leg brings it up and around, so it's kind of like a circle. And then you want triangles. The Greeks established all this, these uh, uh, things in their back thousands of years ago when they created their sculptures and their artwork. They created uh, little things that uh, were, well, they hit you unconsciously. And if you didn't have those elements, um, the piece wouldn't work. And then you gotta work all those in like S curves, like down through here, uh, a pyramid and a circle to keep everything in. All right, sounds like it's starting to rain outside heavily. And I'm going to call it quits for today. And I'll see you guys next time. And we'll be working on this gentleman. Good night, everybody. A like and a subscribe. And ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.